BTEC Applied Science Unit 3 Enzymes, Enzymes in Action, the first of three videos about enzymes and this one is about amino acids. Now amino acids are the building blocks of what do we need to know about amino acids? Now proteins are very very big molecules that do lots of important jobs in our bodies stuff is made of protein our muscles are made of protein uh, proteins catalyze reactions and that's what enzymes are biological catalysts they help bind cells into tissues they can be antibodies which protect us from pathogens which are things which fight disease they transport materials they carry chemical messages uh, these are called hormones uh, they control the activity of genes lots and lots of proteins we are made of <clears throat> we are made of protein and proteins are made of amino acids so proteins are made of much smaller molecules called amino acids and this is the structure of an amino acid and you might be asked to sketch it you know I suggest you copy it down make an effort to learn it what is the structure of an amino acid well in the middle there's a carbon atom called the alpha carbon then we have one two three four things branching off it we have this which is the amino group there's a, a nitrogen and a couple of hydrogens we have this called the carboxyl group so there's a another carbon atom uh, double bonded to an oxygen then there's an OH bonded to the carbon atom as well then we have the side chain uh, there are 20 common amino acids and basically they have different side chains everything else is the same but the side chain is different here are the common amino acids you don't have to learn them but uh, the simplest amino acid is called glycine and if you see that top left there's glycine and its side chain is just a, a hydrogen atom and then obviously some of the others are much more complicated than that but these are the 20 common amino acids how do amino acids join together well here's two amino acids side by side how do they join together well look in the middle there and can you see there's an OH and an H and a reaction occurs between them and the H2O the two hydrogens and the oxygen are kicked out as a molecule uh, as a water molecule uh, and then a branch forms between the two amino acids why is this called a condensation reaction well what is condensation this is called a dipeptide it's made up of two amino acids in this case glycine and alanine or alanine joined together this is a dipeptide if lots and lots of amino acids join together then we get a polymer uh, if it's less than 50 it's called an oligopeptide if it's more than 50 then it's a polypeptide and that is what a protein is a polypeptide lots and lots of amino acids and up to thousands of them can be joined together in a single chain here's some questions what jobs do proteins do in our bodies can you remember three of them uh, sketch the structure of an amino acid uh, label each of the sections how are the 20 common amino acids different describe how amino acids join together why is it called a condensation reaction and what is a polypeptide if you don't know the answer to these, go back and have another look at the video.